I think you're getting awful brazen with me. Brazen? And this one is Civivi Brazen. And it's in the box. It's got a uh, zipper pouch inside here. It's a liner lock. It drops nice. It's got ambidextrous thumb studs. It's got a black blade, that's for sure. Uh, but you don't have to get them in a black blade. And you don't have to get them in a Tanto either, okay? Check it out. Oh, by the way, check out Civivi and We Knives. This will date the film, of course, but... Black Friday, which year is this? We'll just insert it whatever year. No, 2021, free gift. Do you want a Civivi hat? Well, do you, punk? Can you handle it? Well, can you? And also with a really nice little snap clip back here. Hey, I got mine. Uh, that's all I care about. If they run out, too bad. While supplies last at participating dealers. Okay, check that. Now, and when does it start? It starts now. It goes through, I think, December. This is what the hat looks like. December 17th, something like that. But check it out. I'm going to give you a link. And, you know, but go to your favorite Sabibi dealer and check with uh, what they got for giveaways there. And pricing, it's the 2023D. No, it's 2021, by the way. But this is the 2023 model. And here's the stats on it. It's the brazen. Eight inches, three and a half inch blade, basically, okay, of D2 steel. So, what did I get the price on there? Shit, no, of course not. It's free. It's free today. Oh, 58 smackers, huh? Uh, for the natural G10. Oh, if you get the C, that's the that's just the normal drop point, I guess. Um, but I think that's my Carta and the Damascus. So yeah, that costs more money. Costs more money. Costs more money. But uh, 43. So that's what the thing. I like this with the, with the stone wash and stuff or bead blast or whatever it is. And you can get them in, you know. So 40 something? Hello? Um, that's, that there is pretty dang good. Especially for one of these survival knives. And, you know, they're built good, too. They're probably one of the best of the budget brood, right? I mean, don't you think? I do. How about my Snavivi here? My little baby banter? Let's see how they line up. You're caught in a dark alley. You only got one of these two knives to use. Which one would it be? <laughs> and the answer is, okay. But this looks so bad, they just run off. They just run off. Uh, and then you get arrested for brandishing. Okay, and yeah, that's woo, that's a nice drop on there, isn't it? Ooh, yeah, and ambidextrous thumb studs. But you know that flipper tab? It's not too obtuse, is it? It it's okay. It's okay. Uh, backspacer. Check it out. You can put a good old lanyard through there. It's got it out there. And you see these holes here? What do you think? You think? Yeah, you can go left hand, right hand on this. Deep carry pocket clip. I mean deep. It's over the edge right there, isn't it? Um, good grippy G10. Uh, and usually, let's just say usually, what are we going to cut up? We're going to cut the hat up? Okay, let's cut the hat up. What the hell? Okay. Usually, they're pretty... I love cutting with a Tanto. Hold on. There you go, baby. There you go. See it all the way to the end. All the way to the end. Okay, now. But, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it shouldn't be tough to maintain, you know. Uh, you got a nice little choil area here. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, yes, I guess. A little bit more control, you know what I'm saying? So, okay, maybe, maybe useful in that way. But it definitely gives you a little separation when you're doing your sharpening. Uh, this pass-through is easy to disengage the liner. Check that out. That's over the detent ball already. 
and then from there it just drops and it drops nicely looks like they got an internal stop there traveling around see it comes partially out from that bolster doesn't it okay what's my lockup that's pretty solid 30 35 percent not bad um where's my balance point on it okay that's easy to find Ooh, you know which begs the question where is my damn scale holy moly it was buried on the side there i really got some paperwork there uh 108 i hate paperwork don't you i damn it 108 i've never been a paperwork guy uh 3.83 so not bad under four ounces yet yet where are you frosty come on frosty you guys will get used to frosty being around eight and a quarter inches pretty much eight inches okay pretty much the same blade length really i mean if you want to look at it uh here what do you got three and a half right on the gnat's ass okay so what you got right here well i mean now <laughs> you're playing with the bolster here going in and out but there's three and a half right there bingo bango and then down here well three and five eighths and three three quarter whatever so you can say 90 millimeters if you want eight inches overall at uh, you know a little over 20 centimeters but so basically same blade length right 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 and this is a quarter inch longer because it's got a longer handle so bye bye frosty frosty costs more than uh, the brazen does by the way uh but whoa this is this is nice is it centered yeah blade play lock rock no i mean it's almost worthless to check anymore they just do it a good job at Civivi. and look at these liners they're not nested i mean they're there and it's solid i mean really as far as that goes for as inexpensive as it is because you can get yourself into a hundred dollar knife in the Civivi line can't you i mean look at some uh like the cogent green micarta uh damascus blade you're gonna be in the what 80 to 90 dollar range you know and uh so this about half and so this you can you could take it throw it down pick it up whatever and not worry about it okay so yeah i mean i i, I like it for that i'm not as big a ta tanto guy and i'm not big necessarily on black black blades but i mean the purple i thought was cool and at the time this is what i could get so what the hell um i wanted to check it out though because i i thought it looked intriguing came out in so many different you know variations uh and they and you know this is grippy this g10 really nice and grippy i like their pocket clips too they work really good and they're springy enough but not too springy so uh design flow it's good to go isn't it right here and then here and let's see what we got blade to handle length we're fine we're fine so i mean you can't it's hard to complain and then number eight here on the pivot but these are number eight body screws except for the pocket clip those are number sixes but things are rounded here okay i mean you don't have squared off sharp edged weirdness going on here it's almost as if these damn liners were stonewashed before they were coated or whatever but they just are you know they are not edgy at all and then all this this being taken off around here really makes for smooth sailing there and how fat pretty thin this is about exactly the same as my pm2 like within a skosh you know and then uh blade stock though is thinner definitely 0.11 that's what three three millimeter i mean blade stock on my pm has got to be what 3.6 3.3.7 3.6 dancing in between there 
So that kind of thing. But uh, point point four five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But this one's right with these scales is four ounces. Okay. So shall we tear it up? What the hell? It's very inexpensive, so we can take that chance. I, I do it anyhow, so it doesn't matter, right? I do not discriminate between expensive and inexpensive knives when it comes to putting them under the wrench. I'm putting you under the wrench, buddy. Oh, we got this one sitting right by the pocket clip. Okay. We got you enough. Now, let's take that pocket clip off. Number six. Hey, it's already purple. I don't have to dye it purple. Okay, and we're good here. This should all come off, and those screws are the same size. Not a problem there. Here comes this, and well, if you want to stick in there, I don't care. Come on out. Okay, uh, same size body screws. Okay, same length, and lock bar side and what do you think skeletonized liner on here and come off come off don't come off okay come off yeah and ceramic detent ball paching ceramic bearings paching pretty pretty clean in there i mean i've junked it up with fingerprints but other than that it looks pretty good and this is definitely skeletonized isn't it that liner pop this up so we got our little nacho notch right there which lines up with nacho notch over here there's the nacho notch right there so yeah uh and that centers that logo and stuff so when you throw this in here by the way um, it's going to sit up on top of that skit until it, see, just sat down. It goes from there to a sit down state when it gets over that notch. All right. Shouldn't be too tough. What do you got? This little baby stuck back in here. Put the bearings back up. Put that juice on. Get this on. And we already got the stop here because it's right there. So. All we need is another set of bearings, and then we need to put that other liner on it. Then we can put the scales on it, and we're good to go. So not difficult in that regard. Put this, put this, and grab this. Uh-oh. Okay. What you think? Are we lined up? Let's throw these little dude ads in here. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Number eight body screw. Yeah. And... Okay, what do you think? Presentation side. Lock bar side. Pocket clip would go right there. Theoretically. Let's see if it does. Oh, looks like it does. Sit right down. And push your head down in here. And you go. Lock you down first. And lock you down second, both going into that liner. And we're centered up. Does it kick? Does it drop? Yes, it does. And it's centered. Is there play? No, there's not. So, hey, we're good. Oh, yeah, that's good. That is all good. And, uh... You get a zipper pouch with it. I mean, what, you know, when you start thinking about forty something dollars, what it'll buy you, 
It's amazing what it buys you these days in knives. Civivi, you get a couple of stickers like the Elementum sticker and the regular round sticker and your little paperwork thing. So, uh, yikes, you know, it's, uh, I think it's a good value. I think they do a great job too. And they come out with a plethora, a cacophony, cacophony of knives, cacophony, no, plethora, something like that. It's a bunch. It's a bunch. We're in Arkansas. We just say it's a bunch of different models and uh i'm liking it i i i always like trying to reach in and grab civivi but you know elementum bucket button lock okay um and then of course the cogent button lock yes the imperium yes uh baby banter yes that's also a civivi by the way yeah and and so on and so forth the vexer like one of my absolute first and still continuing to be a favorite you know so, I mean, there's, God, you know, where do you, where do you go? Where do you go? Okay. There's so many, so many really good designs. And this, yeah, I mean, uh, get it uh, if you want in Tanto, but get it in a normal drop point and uh, all different kind of color scales, but it's full size. Nice. Eight, eight inches, three and a half inch blade and cheap as chips, cheap as chips. We do. We love them knives. You guys, check out the Black Friday stuff on Sabivi and stay sharp.